From the previous video, you have seen that uh, an acid catalyzed hydration of an alkene can go a rearrangement product, right? Any reaction that uh, can undergo a rearrangement is not that useful, it's not practical. And here's what I mean by that. Uh, in a synthetic point of view, we want to make this compound. This is your target compound. So you run the reaction and somehow they make another product. Not what we do, not what you want, right? So we can't really control any re uh, this reaction. Um, if we want to make this compound, of course, we can use this, uh, this acid catalyzed hydration with just sulfuric acid in water, right? We need an alternative method to be able to synthesize uh, this guy, all right? And to do that, we have another option you can do, right? So the same hydration, same McConnichol, but using different reagent, okay? So let's take a look. So there are two steps here. The first step is adding mercury, uh, diacid, uh, mercury to acetate and then water, that's your nucleophile. And then, uh, and then second step, we add a uh, sodium borohydride, all right, sodium borate, and there's a boron, so borohydride, uh, to remove the mercury from the molecules, all right. Um, the <clears throat> upside of using the this reagent, the downside, of course, is contain mercury, and mercury is toxic. We don't really like that, uh, but the upside is it prevent carbocation, which is also prevent rearrangement. Right. Uh, so no rearrangement observed and still go McConnichol, just like the acid catalyzed hydration. And why it doesn't go, uh, uh, doesn't form carbocation, does no rearrangement, it's all because of this mercury to acetate. Right. Uh, let's take a look at what's, in, what's going on. So <clears throat> this reaction still, OH go to the more substitute carbon, hydrogen go on this, this carbon. Right. So McConnichol orientation. Uh, this reactions we call oxymercuration and demercuration, they are two steps. The first step, the first step add, uh, adding the uh, mercury and then the oxygen onto the molecules. And the second step is demercuration, so remove the mercury, okay? So it's an alternative hydration for an alkene, um, still called McConnichol, right? Uh, but no rearrangement because there's no carbocation. And here's the reason why this guy here prevent the carbocation. Uh, let's take a look, that's your alkene. All right, <clears throat> um, adding a mercury diacetate. And you can see that right now that mercury is really electropositive because the two oxygen around it pull electron away from uh, mercury. So nucleophilic attack onto the mercury from this guy. <clears throat> if this were to be an acid catalyzed hydration, all right, just like sulfuric acid, like normal, this, this is gonna be hyd uh, hydrogen, all right? And there will be a um, rearrangement right here. So this hydride right here about to shift However, the mercury also got the lone pair, lone pair. Mercury will do this. Attack that carbocation to form a three-membered ring right here. We call mercu was it mercurinium ion. It's so hard to say, mercurinium ion, okay? So the mercur mercurinium ion have a little bit uh, electropositive char uh, characteristic uh, on mercury and on the carbon. I'll tell you a little bit more later, but my point is, there's no carbocation because the carbocation right here, once the carbocation is formed, uh, mercury right away attacks the carbocation and say, no, you can't form, no, nope. <laughs> prevent rearrangement, you can't, no, 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 no. no. Um, so to make a three-membered ring, uh, mercurinium ion, okay? <clears throat> and then the nucleophile, whatever you add, so in this case, it's water, all right? So water will come attack. Now, attack whom though? You attack the carbon right here, right? The more substitute carbon. That's Makhonikov orientation, right? The gold Makhonikov right here. The reason is, um, the, these two carbon can be positive. Both of them can be positive. But this carbon right here can stabilize the charge better than the end, uh, than the end carbon. And the reason is there's a hyperconjugation. Um, uh, imagine if this carbon were to be a, um, a carbocation compared to this carbon were to be a carbocation. We, we would have a primary carbocation and a secondary carbocation, right? The secondary have a more um, hyperconjugation, so more stable. So that's, that's the reason why um, this carbon is a little uh, electropositive compared to this carbon. And nucleophile will go attack right there. Mercury comes up right there. So break the three-membered ring, all right? And, uh, <clears throat> and now we have a uh, hydroxide group on here, hydroxyl group on here, right? OS on here, and then we have to re uh, Remove this mercury by adding sodium borohydride. We call demercuration. Right? Remove mercury, and ta -da, we get the product right away. No carbocation, uh, no rearrangement. 
All right. <clears throat> All right. So here's in detail. This is how we use it. Let's take a look at the next video.